Okay, it's our first night in Boston and we're about to get some famous Somalian food, I think, that I just looked up on Google. I'll walk behind you for perspective <laughs> reasons. And it is a uh, very rainy here. It's cold. So this is our first time staying in East Boston. And I did not expect it to be like this. It is very dreary. <laughs> we came on the best Check night. You don't see alleys like that. Can you see it? This is a very um, creepy alley. Too dark. We got the Somalian food for dinner and it was okay. Terrible service, but it satisfied our hunger. We headed to downtown Boston to explore the city early that morning. This was a very cute, old-timey train station in the middle of all of these modern buildings. Through the Holocaust Memorial, which I think had steam from the sewers or something, blowing up from the ground. It was very symbolic. Then we headed to Cafe Vittoria, Boston's first Italian cafe. <laughs> the video. Oh. Alright, say cheese. cheese. It's a video. Okay. okay, my first bite of my first cannoli. What do you think? Plenty. <laughs> okay, we're walking the Freedom Trail now, which is this brick uh, pathway through the city. And we just passed by Paul Revere's house. In there. But we don't want to pay money, so we're not going in. Okay, there's the Old North Church, and we're headed to see the graveyard. And it looks like Paul Revere is, is filming. Okay, here I go. We're going to visit the Old North Church. Just kidding. <laughs> going this way. Normal people way. Then we headed further down the Freedom Trail, and I thought this view was very East Coast, so I just had to capture it. Then Clay took me to see Boston Commons. I didn't see anyone on a picnic blanket, but it was probably too cold and wet to do that. It was nearing lunch by then and we were pretty hungry, so we went to Chinatown to grab something to eat. Okay, got some sweet and sour flounder, I think. And then complimentary soup and rice. After that, we stopped by the beautiful Boston Public Library. We saw a medical student doing U World here. Our hearts went out to her. We also checked out the courtyard outside, where people were having tea or coffee or working on their laptops. We saw the Berkeley College of Music on our way through town. We also came across Boston University, and I was excited to see the Charles River.
Cambridge after that and spent some time on Harvard's campus. People apparently touch or pee on John Harvard's foot here. Needless to say, I kept my hands to myself. We also spotted a building with a cool roof while walking through campus. Clay spotted this boar. I think it looks like Princess Mononoke boar. We got some cheap bar food for dinner, which looked okay, but it was actually quite bad. That night, we went to my friend's birthday party in Brooklyn and had a great time. Good morning! Today is the day that I present my research at the AAD, and Clay will be doing his own stuff while I do that because he doesn't have a ticket to the conference. I'm not upset about that. I, <laughs> I, I'm happy to do some, some sightseeing. So. And we had to take the train to the airport to travel back to the city, which is a little weird, but it's all right. Clay helped me find the Boston Convention Center, and then we split ways. I got there an hour early because I was nervous and didn't know where to go. This was the exhibit hall where all the skincare brands were and also where I presented my research. I presented my paper and then got lobster rolls for lunch with Clay and my friend Richie. They weren't very good to be honest, would not good again. Since I got a lot of skin products at the conference, Clay and I headed back to our Airbnb so I could set it all down and we saw this cool mural. After that, we headed back across the river to Quincy Market before meeting up with my friends for dinner. As you can see, it was raining again. For dinner, we had seafood at Dolce Fumo in the North End and then delicious dessert at Modern Pastry. The next morning, Clay and I took an early train to New York. 